Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to Premier Account and I am Subhash Chandra. In this video, I am going to discuss about the piping design softwares that we have to learn to become a piping design engineer. Because this has become one of the essential requirement for those who wanted to become a piping design engineer. To be frank, if you don't uh, have any piping design softwares uh, named in your CV, I mean if you are not mentioning any piping design softwares in your CV, probably your CVs will not be shortlisted for interview. So this has become one of the mandatory requirement for those who wanted to become a piping design engineer. So if you uh, go through a Google and if you try to Google it, you will find a lot of options. So that's one of the reason why we uh, used to get a lot of confusions and doubts about it. Especially for those who are uh, a beginner in piping and uh, those uh, fresh mechanical engineers who wanted to get into the piping design industries have a lot of doubts about which software that they should uh, learn in order to get a job. So uh, that is what I wanted to cover in this video. So let's get into the, uh, the the topic of this video. So when we talk about piping design softwares, we have to understand the, the piping design industries. So here there are two types of industries. The one type is large scale industries and the, I mean large scale companies. And uh, the second type I would like to classify uh, is the medium scale and small scale companies together. So there are only two classifications. One is the large scale and the second one is medium and small. Actually. So we have to uh, understand what type of software that these companies use. See large scale companies uh, highly invest in uh, softwares which gives uh, which are really good in uh, having a lot of features. Basically we can call it as a high intelligence software. But medium scale companies and small scale companies they don't invest just because the cost of the software will be too high. So they go for uh, some other software which are at an optimum cost basically. So basically if you see uh, the MNCs like large scale companies actually they uh, buy software which are uh, really costly that the small scale companies and medium scale companies cannot afford it. So, so what are those softwares that the large scale companies generally buy? So the, the software that generally these large scale companies buy is one is SP3D and the other one is E3D. If you see SP3D, SP3D is the later version of the PDS. Earlier, uh, Hexagon has, uh, I mean, uh, now right now, Hexagon has uh, has a rights for SP3D and as well as for, I don't know whether PDS is still have a rights with uh, uh, Intergraph because PDS was uh, developed by Intergraph uh, earlier, but I'm not sure. But right now, SP3D is uh, developed by Hexagon actually. So if you look at the price actually, the price is much high compared to uh, other softwares which are uh, I mean commonly used in small scale companies. So uh, if you see the large scale companies, only two softwares, SP3D and E3D. So if you are a person who wanted to get into MNCs and large scale companies, definitely we need to learn any of these softwares, either SP3D or uh, E3D. So both are predominantly used in all MNCs. We can't say the, the share of uh, uh, the particular software, which softwares are, um, uh, I mean, uh, out of these two, which one is better? No, both are equally good and both has an uh, equivalent, uh, I mean, equally uh, good features basically. So it is about uh, the software that they are comfortable with. So I would um, say the, both softwares have a 50-50 uh, share in the market. So you can uh, learn any one of this if you are really interested uh, in joining the MNCs or uh, the large scale companies. So when we come to small and medium scale companies, what are the other softwares? So generally, as I said, small and medium scale companies, since they were not in a position to buy the, uh, I mean, uh, the costlier software, so they go for the cheaper option, which gives an optimum features basically. So what are these softwares? So I would name three important softwares which are generally, I mean, uh, commonly used according to my experience in the medium and small scale companies are. The first one is CADWorks. CADWorks uh, is again uh, developed and owned by Hexagon. And the second software that I would, that I would name is AutoCAD Plant 3D. So basically it is developed by Autodesk and you can uh, find uh, more information about this software in the internet. And the third one is Auto Plan 3D by Bentley. These are the three, uh, I mean, commonly used software in medium and small scale companies. So, how many software that we have seen so far? We have seen five softwares. One is SP3D, and the second one is E3D, and CADWorks, and the uh, uh, fourth one is uh, AutoCAD Plan 3D, and the fifth one is Auto Plan 3D. So, if you ask me, 
what are the software that I should learn as a beginner first, then I would strongly recommend. So learn one software that is uh, focusing the large scale companies either from SP3D or E3D and learn uh, one software that, uh, to focus the medium scale companies uh, from, uh, from uh, either from CADWorks, AutoCAD Plan 3D or Auto Plan 3D by Bentley actually. So you will be able to get these informations if you Google it. But still, I just wanted to point out there are only five softwares which are commonly used in our industries actually. There are many softwares. Um, do not uh, learn something that you cannot use because these are the commonly used softwares in the industry. So the probability of getting job if you learn is much higher compared to softwares that nobody, I mean, uh, used very uh, rarely in the industries. So uh, this is what about the piping design uh, softwares. So now you can ask me where I can learn, how I can learn, what is the price of these softwares that I cannot tell you because different institutes they offer uh, different prices because uh, uh, most of the institutes they offer a software course along with some uh, theoretical course. So I would strongly uh, recommend if you are planning to learn any of this software, learn only the softwares. Do not take any theoretical course along with the softwares because which uh, may not be useful for you. Uh, I know that it, it is a kind of a marketing skill by institute that they also have to monetize because uh, uh, when somebody is teaching you a software, they have to procure the software, right? The price of the software are much higher. So uh, they used to offer uh, you with some additional courses which you may not be uh, required, what do you call it? You may not be able to use that software, I mean the theoretical, theoretical subjects for uh, something else. So frankly saying, if you are, uh, if you wanted to learn any of this software, take the course only for particular software only. Do not take the course with any theory subjects or any other course in addition to it so that you will get the price in combo. So in the, the, if you see the value of the course, it doesn't work in that way actually. Only take the courses which are exclusively to learn a software basically so that you will get the cost reduction. If you are going to add uh, piping design with the stress and piping theoretical subjects, then the cost will be more and probably you will not be able to understand. Learn first any one software, then develop the skill, then slowly try to, uh, uh, what do you call, search in the market and uh, try for a job. If you are able to get into a job, then probably from there you can start your piping design career. So this is about it. There are only five softwares. You have to focus both large scale companies and as well as small scale companies. Learn one software that is for what you call it to focus the large scale companies and learn one software to focus the medium and small scale companies so that you can increase the probability of getting job. And moreover, make sure that you are learning from a genuine person and you learn all the features of the software. That is what very important actually. When you are uh, learning a software, you must know how to develop the piping design using this software and make sure that you are learning from a genuine person. So you have to do a little bit of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, checks about the person that you are going to uh, learn from or uh, the institutes that you are going to learn from. Nowadays, if you can, if you can check in the internet, there are a lot of people other than institutes also teaching. So better uh, check with the right source and also do not blindly invest on, I mean, blindly take some course without even knowing about the course basically. So I know that people are simply investing lakhs and lakhs of rupees for uh, learning one particular software, uh, but make sure uh, that you learn from the right, uh, I mean, make sure that you learn from the right person and with the right cost. So that is what you have to do it actually. Right now with the kind of uh, help that you can get from internet is huge and you'll be able to find uh, enormous numbers of uh, contacts so that you can verify actually. So go uh, with the standard institutes with the genuine person and learn uh, the software alone with the uh, minimum price. So that will save your uh, the initial investment and slowly you can search for a job. So I hope that this video is uh, uh, what you call will be helpful for you to understand what are the softwares that you have to learn in order to become a piping design uh, engineer. So I will come out with another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.